Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and welcome to a little vlog. You guys have seen my morning. I woke up, got my incline walk done, had my bagel coffee reds and greens, got a little bit of work done on the computer, I'm currently doing some laundry, and now it's time for a quad and glute workout. Obviously, I'm back home at my parents. I'm back here for Christmas and the new year. And I'm gonna be honest, I did this exact same quad and glute workout that I'm about to do last Thursday, and it left me sore for days, okay? You guys know when I'm here, I have limited equipment, and the focus is on making lightweight feel heavy, and this workout is killer, okay? So I figured I might as well just do the exact same one again because it literally left my legs dead and I loved it and it's dumbbell only so literally anyone can recreate this workout as long as they have a set of dumbbells. I just use 20s for the entire thing and it truly leaves my legs destroyed. So without further ado, let's get into this quad and glute workout. Quads and glutes complete. My legs are feeling it. And round two of that workout was just as tough as round one, but I loved it and I love that it was dumbbell only because I feel like a lot of you all want to see more dumbbell only workouts because while I have a home gym, not everyone has a built out home gym or has a gym membership. Some people just have dumbbells. So that is a great lower body workout you can do if you just have a set of dumbbells. It is rough. The key is to go right from the first exercise to the second exercise within the superset. So for example, the dumbbell Bulgarian split squats immediately into the dumbbell sumo deadlifts. Killer, like absolutely terrible, but in the best way possible, like the best lower body burn ever. Also, I made the switch from the Apple Watch to the Garmin and I am never going back. I actually need to set this down so we can sit down and chat about this because I've been getting so many questions. Also, if you guys want me to do like a sit down video comparing the Garmin watch and the Apple watch, I definitely can because I've gotten a lot of requests to do so. But just know, in my opinion, this Garmin watch is a million times better than my Apple watch. And I was always an Apple watch girly, okay? I always have Apple products. I got my first Apple Watch going into my freshman year of college, so seven years ago-ish. I did have two watches total, like one kind of crapped out, so I ended up getting a newer one. And I got the one with cellular, but I never ever used the cellular, like I didn't even activate it. But it was very useful during that point in my life, especially when I worked at F45, because I could easily like adjust the volume of the music in the room, and it was just, very convenient then, 
but a little bit over a year ago, I got my boyfriend a Garmin, and since then, I've been so jealous of his Garmin, and I've been wanting to buy myself one, but I'm one of those people that never, ever buys anything for themselves. Like, I won't think twice about spending hundreds, thousands of dollars on any family member, my boyfriend. Like, I love giving gifts, but I'm the type of person that will never buy anything nice for myself. So my wonderful boyfriend got me a Garmin for Christmas, and I'm obsessed. It is also beautiful. It's like this very tan neutral band, which you guys know. I'm a neutral gal. I absolutely love my neutrals. And then it has this gold ring around it and like the gold piece right here. I'm obsessed. But just off the top of my head, the differences between the Garmin and the Apple Watch, this thing, so freaking lightweight. Like I don't even feel it on. It can get my heart rate all the time. My Apple Watch could never get my heart rate if I was the slightest bit cold, if it was cold outside and it would just like randomly stop my workouts if it was cold. I don't know if that's like a common thing, but a few other people on Instagram have actually DM me saying the exact same thing. Like it would just act up in the cold, which luckily once I moved to Florida, that really wasn't an issue, but it still couldn't get my heart rate if it was like 60 degrees or lower outside, which was just strange. Um, and I feel like the calories on this are way more accurate. They're way, way lower than like the calorie burn on my Apple Watch was, but I'm doing the exact same types of workouts. Granted, I've been here the entire time I've had this watch, so I haven't been like super heavy lifting, but it's still like the same style of workouts. And my calorie burn on this is way lower, but I feel like this is way more accurate since it always has my heart rate. And this just has so many metrics, like your body battery, it like tracks your sleep the entire time you're sleeping and the battery life on this thing absolutely incredible i charged it the day i got it on christmas have not taken it off my body since this is day four or five and the battery was still at 70 percent this morning and my apple watch used to die before the end of the day like i know i move a lot i'm always walking i'm very active like yes my apple watch was probably working harder than like most people's Apple watches are like at least people with sedentary jobs because I was up and about moving a ton, but it would die way before the end of the day, like very frequently. So that was like the main reason I wanted to switch to the Garmin. And since I got my boyfriend a Garmin, all of our guy friends got Garmin's after that. So I just felt left out. And this thing is just beautiful. Like I love it. And the only reason I really need a watch is for time and to track my workouts. And I feel like this is just so much more accurate. And I love seeing the metrics and seeing my sleep. Like I think it is so freaking cool. I haven't even fully explored it. Like there's so many other metrics I wanna dive into, but since I just got it, those are just the few differences off the top of my head. But it is a million kajillion times better and basically the exact same price point. Like I am never ever going back. And I ended up getting the Venu 2S I think it's the smaller one because I have very like tiny bony wrists I didn't want the plus because the only difference was that it basically had that like cellular feature You could talk on the phone with it. I never used that on my Apple watch I knew I wasn't going to use it on this and the plus was a lot bigger Well, not a lot but three millimeters bigger This one is 40 millimeters and I think it fits my wrist perfectly and I'm just obsessed So if you've been on the fence about making the switch from Apple to Garmin I personally highly, highly recommend. I'm in love. My camera's about to die. I need to go shower. Let's get on with the day. complete. I'm actually packing right now because we're about to head to Raleigh, North Carolina for my grandmother's surprise 80th birthday party. She has no idea. I'm very excited. I might vlog a few clips on my phone to include them in this video just because I feel like my family would love that for the mems. So get excited for that. Anyway, this is the outfit of the day. If you watch my latest crazy yoga haul, then you saw these scuba dupes that crazy yoga came out with. I finally got my hands on some. And I accidentally placed 
two orders with two scuba dupes in each. Totally forgot about placing two of them, but I'm not mad about it at all because I love these things. The two I showed in my crazy yoga haul were the gray sage one and the black one. Those are both in a size medium. And then I accidentally ordered another gray sage one, but in a size large. And then this one is also in a size large and it is in the color jujube brown, I think. It's like this burnt red color. Very proud of myself for getting colors. But I ended up giving the first gray sage medium one to my mom since she's a little bit shorter and I kept the large. The only real difference between the medium and the large is that the large is a little bit wider this way and the sleeves are a tiny bit longer. But I'm absolutely starving, so I need to go downstairs and have a protein shake. But I do need to finish packing first because we leave in like 30 minutes, I think. Also, totally forgot to mention, I'm wearing very old Nike yoga pants. These are actually from college. And I love that yoga pants are back in because I never stopped wearing them. Besides when I moved to Florida and it was warm, I didn't really need yoga pants. But I rocked these things like all through college, after college when I lived in Pittsburgh, like I've just always loved yoga pants. So I'm very happy that they're back in style, even if people these days wanna call them like flare leggings. That is so weird, they're yoga pants. And I love these ones. These are actually like Nike extra small ones, like they were team issued gear, but they don't have like a WVU on them or anything. I'm obsessed. They're just, they're just the best. Yoga pants are the best. this video up here. It is currently Saturday. I started this vlog on Thursday, took you guys through my morning. Then we drove down to Raleigh and we were go, go, go the entire time we were down there. The surprise party yesterday was a huge success. My grandmother literally had no idea and it was truly incredible to see everyone coming from like all over the country for her surprise 80th birthday party. It was just amazing, warms my heart, made me so happy. And her and my grandfather did not stop smiling the entire time. So that was just incredible. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the past two days in my life. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you all next time.